So a few days ago, I was doing a little bit of AFK fishing on my main account, and I was just looking at the prices of certain items these days, and I noticed that the Amulet of Eternal Glory has hit an all-time high of 108 mil. Now that was the peak of it. It looks like when I was currently looking this up, it was down to 100 mil. So I figure now is the perfect time to go for the Eternal Glory when it's peaking in its price, and just, you know, how do you say no to getting an item that's worth 100 million GP? But a lot's changed since I last did a recharging glory video, which was about two years ago when I charged glories for 10 hours. At that current point in time, you really couldn't make much money unless you got the eternal glory. But at the same time, you really couldn't lose much either. You know, an amulet of glory 6 was much more expensive than an amulet of glory uncharged. But nowadays it's different. Unfortunately, the Amulet of Glory Uncharged is 3k more expensive than an Amulet of Glory that has 6 charges, which just looking at the prices here on screen, it looks like this could possibly lose me a ton of money. So, in my eyes, it's a gamble. If you get the Eternal Glory early on, you're gonna make a ton of money no matter what, but if you somehow go dry, there's no way you could come back from that. So let's go ahead and gamble with 100 million GP today. We're gonna be spending all this money on on Amulet of Glories that are uncharged, and in return, I'm gonna just be teleporting back and forth to the Wilderness Fountain of Rune with my Wilderness Sword and charging all these glories. I guess I'll just do 10 hours flat. We did this two years ago, and we were dry for the glory. And two years before that video, I did 25,000, and I was lucky enough to obtain my first ever Eternal Glory in 11,000 charges in, and then I went 14,000 dry in that video. And then following that, when I did loot from 10 hours two years ago I recharged 16,000 and I went completely dry during that as well so that means since my last eternal glory I have charged over 30,000 amulets of glory and I've yet to obtain my second one so let's go ahead and take 100 million GP today and go for the eternal glory one last time while it's at its all-time high price and while other people like this guy Pringles here are taking advantage of it I won't be alone during this grind and it's important to keep in mind every day that goes by this item will drop it looks like 108 mil was its peak and now it's continuing to fall so we need to get this eternal glory as quickly as possible it's 1 in 25,000 we're 30,000 dry but uh you know it's still a scary drop rate no matter what how you look at that it's pretty intimidating so let's hope for the best here uh we're gonna be losing what like 3k on every glory that we recharge so I mean 1,000 means we lose 3 mil and you guys can do the math after that so wish me luck guys but before we get started into today's video we do have some words from our sponsor today boot.dev boot.dev is building the smartest way to master backend development by tackling the hardest problem with e-learning boredom boot.dev's platform uses tactics learned from modern game design to push ambitious students towards their goal a career in backend development through hands-on lessons that balance theory with practice and an active discord community students are prepared to tackle technical interviews and forge a very successful programming career. The folks at Boot.dev believe the smartest way to learn to code is to make sure you're never bored. You're going to be learning XP, levels, achievements, and complete quests to get a top spot on the global leaderboard. The platform is designed to get you writing a ton of code because getting your hands on the keyboard and shipping projects is the only way to really learn. Click the link in the description box and use my code Mr. No Sleep, to get 25% off your first payment for Boot.dev. That's 20 25% off your first month or your first year, depending on the subscription that you choose. And a huge thank you to Boot.dev for sponsoring today's video. They are incredible. All right, there is our first 1,000 glories charged for this video. We have uh, about 6,000 left to go in this stack. And then once we're done, if we don't get the eternal, we'll just go ahead and sell them all back and buy some more with whatever GP I have left. You know, a long time ago when this Fountain of Rune came out and you started to have the ability to recharge your glories here it was profitable you know even if you didn't get the eternal it was decent profit an hour i think it was like one two three mil profit an hour just because of the price difference of glories but all of you guys watching this video who currently do play old school you know that the economy right now is just 
crazy, not just with Amulet of Glories, but with almost every item. So that being said, it's understandable that, you know, it's 2023, so many different items are in the game, so many surplus of so many different things that, yeah, it's just unfortunate these days you are going to be losing money charging Amulets of Glory unless you get the Eternal. So I'm already expecting to lose a little bit of money from recharging, but I don't want to be losing any money from dying. So I figure with this setup that I have recharging this time around with the Yokel necklace and the ice axe in my inventory, this provides me with the ability to do what you're seeing on screen here and essentially freeze anyone who is attacking me and use the environment to my advantage with all these fences around and just simply hide behind them and log out. I did encounter a few PKers at the obelisk as well that I had trouble with and just in general running through this path to the obelisk and from the obelisk. Uh, it's, you know, it's pretty difficult to uh, tank PKers. So you try to log out as quickly as you can or you just use my method and you can either hide behind a fence and log out or stand directly on top of them and log out. Um, you just have to hope you don't splash too much. Here I sit at 12 HP. Luckily, I caught the freeze at the last second, but that archer is really uh, giving me some trouble here. It looks like they're clearing every world, and I was just using normal worlds because total level worlds were so full with other people doing this. But here we are, 5,000 glories charged so far. Three hours in, it looks like my hourly rate varied from 1,600 glories an hour charged to 1,700, and I wouldn't use my POH for rejuvenation, which would save you money on stamina sips. But I figure in like 10 hours' time of recharging these glories, I shouldn't be using too many stamina sips, so it really won't cost too much money in the long run to save that time. But it's always up to you on how you want to do this. I know that uh, I saw Poison Potions video not too long ago covering recharging glories and using alternate accounts to help uh, kill you and use loot keys, etc. I looked into that method, but I personally just wasn't a fan, so I just kind of stuck with the original method here. And a little bit after being four hours into the video, we have now charged our first batch of 7,000 glories. Looks like we have 5.5 mil GP remaining on the side, and we'll just go ahead and put these in for instant sell price of 10,150. Receiving back 72 mil overall cash stack rounded up about 78 mil, give or take 200k. So 22 mil loss so far in the first four hours. Uh, at this point, I figured I would buy the charged glories that are uh, charged to four instead of uncharged. And although it did take a little bit to buy my next batch of 6,000, this was saving me, um, I would say like 300 GP per glory because uh, they just happen to have the same effect of you can receive an eternal glory from charging the fours into sixes. But they, they all look the same in the inventory, you know what I mean? Just going from four to six, you can still get the eternal. So I'm not a big fan of this. It sounds weird. I know I'm saving money by charging the fours instead of the uncharged, but I just prefer the uncharged. I like seeing that animation going from dark to bright, but either way, uh, you know, we're still going to hopefully get the eternal in this batch. And as long as we do that, we'll be all right. You know, if we don't, well, we're going to lose some more money. So uh, yeah, it's a gamble doing this, but it's not always going to be a gamble. I don't want you guys to get discouraged. You just have to stay attentive of the price of glories. It does fluctuate quite a bit. So, you know, it's 2023, 11, 11 November. I figure, you know, it's it's losing money right now to charge glories, but maybe in a month you'll be able to uh, break even, if not make a little bit of profit. So just stay on the lookout for prices, uh, stay up to date and you should be fine. Uh, hopefully this method doesn't always lose money in the future as well. All right, speaking of losing money, we are 40,000 glories dry of my second eternal. That is painful. So we're going to go ahead and sell these 6,000 glories back into the grand exchange with minimal money left over on the side for 62.8 mil. So if I go ahead and round up, I am down approximately 37 mil uh, with two and a half hours left to go to reach that eternal glory and hopefully make all my money back and a lot of profit. The real question is, will we get it? Or will we lose? Because that's that's all that's going to happen if we don't get it. I'm really hoping that this dry streak ends soon. We're going to go ahead and spend the rest of our coin stack on 5,000 Amulet of Glories. At first, I thought I could only purchase 4,000, but it looks like we are just able to purchase 5,000 with 200k remaining. Other than that, we probably spent like 200k on stamina sips, so it's very minimal, like I said before, to uh, save that time using staminas. Well, the video's almost over. The 10-hour timer's almost done. And ladies and gentlemen, save the best clip for last we got the amulet of eternal glory 
finally, over 41,000 glory, something ridiculous like that has been charged, and I finally got it all these years later. I haven't seen that in my inventory spawn since like four years ago almost. It took two days to obtain it. It went down eight mil, so I mean, you know, it's not quite a hundred mil anymore, but uh, hey, that thumbnail's still proof that it was, and now we're gonna sell it. I mean, we have to, uh, you know, we have to sell it. My first ever Eternal Glory was at 11,125 charges in. My second one was at 43,600 in. So, yeah, collection logs proof there. Two Eternal Glories to my name now. 90 mil is what it sold for. A little bit less than the 92 because of the tax, which I hate, but it's okay. Uh, it's, it's profit, ladies and gentlemen. We made our money back. We were down over, what, 40 mil? Something ridiculous like that. But we are in the positive. And we still haven't been PK this whole entire video, except for the one inventory right after receiving the Eternal Glory. That's when I got killed, which I just, you know, it's like I'm trying to enjoy my moment here. Maybe I get a back-to-back, -back, right? And then I get killed by someone dressed like that. I don't know. At least they got, you know, gave me a compliment. I'll take that. So obviously, uh, you guys have noticed that I didn't stop after I got the Eternal. I had like 2,000 glories left, so I figured I'd finish up the 10-hour. And, you know, I did a little extra, probably like 30 minutes extra. So, you know, 10 hours and 30 minutes. But that's not even in the title, so who really cares about that? Point is, uh, I did commit to the very end here, just in hope uh, for that astronomical chance of receiving another one, and I didn't get one, but that's okay. We're still gonna go price check everything now, see how much money I lost originally, and see how much money I profited at the very end. We'll go ahead and sell these uh, glories, for instant buy price of 10300 and keep in mind, you guys can sell these glories that you charge for more money than I was. I just wanted to get my money back right away, so there's always opportunities to avoid losing more than you have to. Keep that in mind. So overall, with 51 mil coin stack remaining of the 100 mil that I started with, I would have lost 49 mil without receiving that eternal glory. Uh, but we started with 100 mil GP, and after selling the glory, we have 141.8 mil. It took 10 hours and 30 minutes to recharge 17,000, and we made 41.8 mil profit, which translates to over 4 mil GP an hour. That is awesome. I'm glad I took the gamble on this one. Well, just for this video in particular, I want to do a special thank you to all of my channel members. Seth Ryan for eight months. Reign of Fear, eight months. Vojim, eight months. JP Commando, my man, you're coming up on a year, 11 months. LK Catwolf, eight months. Rubes, nine months. Sorry about the uh, spindle problem. Ultra, three months. Fagolin, nine months. Scrooge, I miss you, man, one month. Bubba Chubba, ten months. Front Hole, you crazy guy, you. One month from you. Wormpler, well, Welcome aboard. One month straight out the shop. KBD, thanks a lot, man. Nine months. Alex S. KBD, thank you as well for eight months. Pestilence KBD, nine months. Ferret Bandit as well with six months KBD. Ariana Whistler, KBD, five months. And of course, the last three, Deception Z, Hydra for five months. Cannot thank you enough. Same to you, X Exotic X for five months with that Hydra tier. And Angel's Blood, you know I got you as well. Six months. Thanks a lot to everyone. You really are incredible. Thank Thank you and until next time no sleep i almost said no sleep out that have been weird uh mr no sleep out